Usually I use a something, but let me just show you. So I take it and then I just go like this. And then they should stay. Oh my gosh, these are really hot. Be careful. Use like a fork so that you don't burn your hands like I'm basically doing right now. Hi friends! It is Saturday and I think this is like the first time I've picked up the camera since I got back from the cruise. I might have picked it up a couple other times, but um, ever since I got back from the cruise, it has been nothing but madness here. Um, from my dog Sophie getting sick, to my dad being in the hospital, to Sophie getting even more sick, to me being sick since I got from the, uh, home from the cruise. And um, today I just I, I woke up and I finally started to feel normal. I've been uploading some videos now, getting caught up, and um, I'm just getting ready to go grocery shopping because I have a bunch of things to do tomorrow, which is Sunday. It's usually the day that I do my meal prep. But anyways, I'm just editing some videos and um, just wanted to pop in and say hello. And I've missed you guys, and I'm about 10 weeks out now, and I don't know if I'm technically feeling ready, but I'm listening to my coach, and... Um, just kind of taking it from there. So anyways, I am uh, currently wearing my Sports Authority Nike um, cover up my first form hat, um, aloe leggings, and my Nikes from uh, Sports Authority. So anyways, I just wanted to pop in and say hello, and I'm going to take you guys with me um, ten weeks out. This is going to be like my grocery trip uh, for competition, so I thought you guys might be interested in that. I've been using my um, planner here, and I just made a quick little uh, grocery list um, of little things that I need. And I'm just going to take this with me. And yeah, so I just have a few things. Tonight we're going to a birthday party. And Start talking and then I'm gonna go to the grocery store. go to Sprouts. I also went to PetSmart and got the puppies um, some goodies. I picked up um, these like cookies. just thought they were really cute. And um, I also grabbed where are my cookies? That's weird. Maybe they fell in the car. Let me go grab them. I grabbed them a few toys. These little monkeys. So let me go in the car and grab the cookies. All right, so I guess I did not buy them. I don't know where they are. But anyways, here's all the groceries. You guys already saw everything, so I'm not really going to do a haul. Um, I'm going to make myself some lunch, and then I'm going to start my meal prep, and I will take you guys along with me. So really easy uh, prepping baby red potatoes. Um, all I do is uh, preheat the oven to 400. And then I'm going to do is grab a pan, just kind of a smaller pan like this, kind of a crappy pan, some foil, and I 
Yeah. And I'm going to weigh the potatoes before I put them in the foil so they're ready to go and I can just pop them in my little Tupperware that I use for my lunches. So let me get that going. I think I'm going to give the puppies a treat while I'm, while I'm cooking. You guys want a treat? How about, let's do the heart. You guys want it? Yes, yes. No, Oscar. While I do that, I'm also going to be cooking some lunch because I'm starving. So I just had this um, ready-to-go chicken. I'm just going to throw it in a small pot like this. Okay. Turn up the heat to kind of a medium-high. I just got some of the um, spray olive oil, so I'm going to use that. And I'm just going to um, lightly spray the pot. I'm going to do five ounces of chicken. As you can see, these are kind of ready to go. They're a little bit higher in um, sodium. But I didn't have any more chicken left, so kind of like an emergency chicken. I'm going to do four ounces. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to throw that in. And then I'm going to grab a veggie. I'm going to do some Brussels sprouts. I'm going to make some tacos. I'm just going to cut up the Brussels sprouts. Let me do that and I'll show you guys. So as you can see, I just kind of cut up some of the uh, Brussels sprouts and I put them in there. I'm going to do a cup of Brussels sprouts and then I'm going to do two of these tortillas, these mission style tortillas. I'm going to put it in the toaster oven and I'm going to make some tacos and I will show you guys what they look like. So all I do is take the potato, I've washed them already, I put it on the scale, that's 1.9, if it's a little bit less, sometimes I'll find bigger ones, that one's 2.5, so I'll just take another one and I'll just cut it, and then put it on there so that we can get to 3, and I'll just take a little piece of foil, wrap it, put it in the pan, and put it in the oven. I'm going to put these in the oven for about an hour. That's how I like them then. So that's that. And then my lunch is getting cooked up here. I'm just kind of sauteing it. I haven't added any water or anything. Um, so I kind of like them like sauteed. And then I'm going to add some of my Flavor God seasoning. I'm going to do the garlic and the everything spicy. So I'm just going to, remember this chicken's already cooked, so I'm going to add some of that. Well, that was a lot. Eh, who doesn't love garlic? All right, I'm going to put some spicy. Um, I'm addicted to these seasonings, by the way. Thank you, Lana, for getting them. I'm going to definitely buy more. And then um, I have this uh, pico de gallo that I'm going to be adding to the tacos. And we're just going to kind of saute this around. It smells really good. Okay, and about right now I'm going to finish my potatoes and then I'm going to do my tortillas and let me show you how I do those. And at three ounces each, a full bag was basically perfect because all I have is one extra potato in here. So, oh, like one and a half basically left. Um, I'm probably just going to cook this, cook them both to have some extra maybe for the hubby and we're good. Okay. So the toaster oven's on, I put it on uh, bake and then I just take the tortillas and I spray them down with some olive oil really really lightly. Alright the oven just beeped it's at 400 baking. So I'd say they've been in there for about five minutes. As you can see, they're getting very um, crispy. I'm going to crisp them just a little bit longer until that beeps. This is pretty much done, so I just have it on low. And um, I'm just going to put it in a plate here. 
I'm also adding some of this hot sauce habanero pepper sauce that I got in Belize. It's delicious. And yeah. Oh, can we talk about these whips, by the way? Peanut butter and salty caramel. And I'm loving this one right here. Peanut butter and chocolate. Okay. All right, so I'll just take them out. Usually I use a something, but let me just show you. So I take it, and then I just go like this. And they should stay. Oh my gosh, these are really hot. Be careful. Use like a fork so that you don't burn your hands like I'm basically doing right now. And don't go too hard because then you're going to crack it. But if you just kind of press it down, it's going to stay. Okay. So they look like that. And then I'm just going to take my filling chicken and some Brussels sprout and then I'm just going to fill the taco and you can pretty much use anything you want today I'm just using the chicken and Brussels sprouts um, I also got some turkey meat that I'm gonna use um, you can use asparagus I did that last night that was really good um, but I basically I'm like putting my veggie inside of my taco and then you know that that's my meal basically um, and it's delicious. So I'm going to keep doing this and then I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, so that's kind of what it looks like. I just put the rest of it on the side and then I'm going to put the pico de gallo. Alright, so I'm just going to put it on top there. It's a lot easier with two hands, obviously. Okay, and then I'm going to add some of my habanero. This stuff is really spicy, but so delicious. Okay, voila! Chicken, Brussels sprout, goodness.